and welcome to Autism Plus. Today, I'm going to share with you how to eliminate aggression behavior on persons with autism. Disclaimer. This procedure is not easy to implement. It has a legal issue around this procedure. It is encouraged to seek a qualified person to implement this behavioral intervention. Everything that is uh, said in this video are generalizations. This should not be done as specific advice. Any actions you make regarding your client's intervention plans are at your own discretion. What is aggression? Uh, it is a behavior that may cause harm to themselves or self-injurious behavior or harm to other people. Self-injurious behavior, 50% um, of persons with autism engage in uh, self-injurious behavior. Uh, example for self-injurious behavior, banging head on wall or floor. So they tend to bang their head. Uh, biting his hand. Hitting head. It might be with their uh, fist closed or open uh, hand. Uh, some of them, they uh, take their eye uh, out of the socket. Uh, they may uh, dislocate their shoulder arms or legs and harming to other are just one of the aggression of uh, children diagnosed with autism uh, behavior so 68 percent of uh, autism, uh, autism they engage in this kind of behavior uh, example of uh, harming to other uh, punching, uh, biting, pulling hair, scratching, head batting, pushing, kicking, throwing objects like chairs and whatever TV and whatever it may be. Okay, to eliminate aggression behavior such as uh, self-injurious behavior and uh, uh, hurting to other, uh, we use uh, physical, physical restraint. So uh, this method is used on persons diagnosed with autism when uh, uh, their behavior possess, possesses a serious uh, risk of harming to themselves or others. This procedure is effective in eliminating aggression behavior when done properly. I can tell by experience. I've been in this field since 2003. And uh, it, if it is done accordingly, um, I guarantee you that uh, the behavior of the child will improve. The person diagnosed with autism is positioned in lying on tummy or in a prone position, position uh, on the floor with a cushion or rubber mat for safety reasons. 
So extra careful should be taken into consideration not to hurt himself. Uh, the person diagnosed with autism is released uh, only when he has come down or has promised that he is ready to listen and behave. The person with autism is reminded that uh, he will be released if he is ready to comply and behave. Uh, make sure that the person with autism tells you that he has come down and ready to listen and behave before releasing him for uh, those who can talk. And for those uh, nonverbal, he needs to be come down uh, first before releasing him. And the person with autism is reminded the consequences if he shows aggression again. So, uh, that he will uh, lay down on, on the floor again. So the person with autism may show aggression again. When he does it again, repeat the procedure. Okay, so usually the person with autism engage the aggression two to three times before behavior improves. After five or more months, uh, after eliminating aggression uh, behavior, usually the aggression behavior will come to try to test you. So when it happens, when the aggression behavior occurs again, the procedure must be repeated. Okay, because the child will try to test you if you still uh, do it. Okay, but uh, don't worry, the, the child will get better. Okay, so here is the procedure how to, how the restraint uh, would it be. So as you can see here, the child is taken uh, to the floor with the face uh, down, but make sure that uh, there is a cushion uh, on the floor. Uh, could be uh, mattress or a rubber mat. And usually here we put a pillow to make sure that uh, the child will not get hurt. Okay, and uh, the clinician usually um, secures the arm of the a person with OTSM with two hands, and the other, the assistant will be securing the legs. So he will be uh, maintaining that position until the child come, has come down. Okay, and then usually the child, if he is verbal, he will say, Okay, I'm, go I'm ready to, to behave. I'm not going to do that again. Okay, so that's only the time. Uh, and then ask him, uh, as a child, ask the child that uh, you promised. And then ask, on, uh, 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 repeat the question, are, are you going to promise that you are not going to do that again? And then if he said yes, and then that's the time he, he, will, he will be released. And for those who are unable to, who are not able to talk, um, he, we usually uh, maintain the position until he is really calmed down. Okay, so that's uh, pretty much it for this video. And uh, I'll be, uh, uh, I'm going to, I'll be seeing you soon in the next video with regards to other um, intervention. So thank you very much. And please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.